the uh, airline industry and the oh, yes. university hires and everything. Now I'm starting to see. Now, again, me and you were talking about this for quite some time now. I'm obsessed. Uh, yeah. I'm obsessed with every instance now where the aviation industry and, and the whole thing, the building of the planes, the airports, or as you brilliantly call them, the parking lots. <laughs> It's just plain parking lots. Yeah. Didn't you say that? Yeah, I think. Yes. Uh, which is, uh, you know, you go to an airport, and it's very hustle and bustle and confusing, and then you just realize, oh, this is a parking lot. <laughs> yeah, and, and twice now, I've gone to my parking spot, Yeah. and there's a plane there. There's a parking, We've had yeah. twice. Yeah. I think it was the same fucking flight to Nashville and coming back. Yes. So we had to sit there for like 40 minutes while the car, the plane that shouldn't be in our spot, yes. deplanes, gets cleaned and moves. Yeah. What? You, you know what happens, and I've noticed this, because I've had that happen a couple of times, and it's always like, well, we've uh, arrived 20 minutes early, and you're like, oh, 20 minutes early, that's awesome. And because we're 20 minutes early, our gate's not open. And ready right. Yet. And you're like, I'd rather them do like a couple of loops. Yeah, let me take some pictures something. from the plane of Manhattan. Whatever, because for some reason, being up in the air and getting drinks and whatever it is, is a lot better than sitting, breathing in exhaust and, and waiting. And, and everyone's now in the aisle. They got their bags. or something, And you're just waiting to get the fuck out. Uh, that's a problem. I'd rather be in the air and being uh, served as I should. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, and to be clear, in the stories I'm talking about, we were not early or late. We were exactly oh, on time okay. both times. But you sent me that article in the New York Times about, like, finally, black woman only yeah, in yeah. the fucking pilot seat. And White I, men? No. Nah. article, and he's talking about the, the jumbo jet pilot industry being particularly stubborn about diversity. Right. Which is is the it's the conceit with all of this shit that there's all these black female astronauts just like piling up against the doors like Black Friday, right? right. Just like <laughs> waiting for the gates to open, and they're all like boss hog. Uh, oh, not on my watch! Right, right. I know they're better than us, uh -huh. but they're not coming in here, boy. These people are qualified. But I'll be damned if I'm ever going to let they him might in be here. qualified to make me some grits. <laughs> yeah. But meanwhile, they're all geniuses. It's like oh, of course, like every movie. Uh, hidden figures hidden again and again and again. And right. And the whole concept. Too, I've talked about this a million times, but like the first Native American astronaut. Why are you saying that? Yeah. Because the implication is that I've been saying no for years. To right. Qualified Native American astronaut. Yeah. Yeah. Which is insulting to me. Right. It's insulting to the patriarchy. It's insulting to America. It's insulting to yes. white males in general. That yeah. we just finally we broke in the barrier. No, you broke the barrier by having someone that went to school, I guess, and I hope and want I hope and wanted to become an astronaut. Or it wasn't that anyone was preventing people from doing these things. Yes. Is chess particularly stubborn <laughs> when it comes to black females? Is the mathematics, is the field's medal yeah. particularly <laughs> stubborn when it comes to black women? But I I yeah. solved Pythagoras' theorem yeah, yeah. and spun 3x plus y cubed about the z-axis huh? after finding the surface area. <laughs> Whatever, Negro. <laughs> We can't be given no fields medal. No. Meanwhile, if a fucking black woman did a third of what the previous winner did, oh. they'd get the fields medal, but it'd be drenched in cum. You, yes, yes. It would be falling. I, white be able to hold liberal it. jizz all over this fucking thing. Because they look at... at it, it, what amazes me is the ease in which minorities can attain these unbelievable goals if they do a quarter of the work. Oh, yeah. Look like you, you're thrilled to be there. And fuck, they will put you through, and it'll be awesome. For Have you. you seen all the Twitter brags about, I graduated bottom of my class, uh -huh. and now I'm in med school? Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> and I they're they're talking to black Twitter, so they're not, like, aware that we right. can see it. You go, girl! And they're like, look, this is what you do. You get Ds and Fs, but then you apply to, to Harvard Medical School, and then you just say that you, you grew up on the streets or whatever, and then you uh -huh. get into medical school, and then the next thing you know, you a podiatrist. You a doctor, nickel? Yeah. So I don't like that in medicine, mm -hmm. and I definitely don't like that in the sky. In air travel, anything. And we've seen so many problems of late uh, with every aspect of it. The construction of planes. Boeing has just been uh, uh, plagued with with drunks in their factories. Yes. Uh, uh, horrible inspections on, you know, government 
uh, uh, tolerances. These are tolerances of five thousandths of an inch <laughs> on some things. And I'm using and a just to show you how using not a fucking chronom- it, it, it just gotta be <laughs> just to show you how not racist we are. The drunks in the Boeing factory are Hispanic. They are Hispanic. The There's one down at the border. One's yes. getting sucked into the engine are black. They're black. So we're all, all over the be, map here. It's like when I used to watch uh, cops and you'd hear a knife call, you'd know it was Hispanic. Right. You hear yeah. a gun call, you know it was black. Right. So I know if it's uh, on the if it's on the south, uh, you know, south uh, uh, southern border in a factory, a maintenance worker, yeah, it's Hispanic. He's drunk. He's drunk. And 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 if it's uh, someone getting sucked into an engine after t- after being told fifty warning times not to walk in front of the engine, <laughs> it's probably going to be a big fat black woman. Uh, so the aviation industry now it, it has. All these diversity hires. Boeing is is one of the biggest fucking uh, uh, criminals as far as this goes. And we're supposed to just go, well, look, if uh, we have to be sacrificed for the greater good by these people relearning what is already known and already perfected by the people that have been doing it for a while, uh, white men, middle-aged to uh, older white men have been the pilot that you, everyone does it. Everyone walking in that plane goes, Whew. all right. Including black women, by the way. Black women. When black women see two black women in the front of the, the plane, they're oh, like, oh, shit. shit. We got two sisters here. Oh, shit. You want to see that guy take his fucking pilot hat off, put it down there, and he's got the gray temples. Yeah, I want gray on the side. I like bald, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little like horseshoe bald. thing is great. And, <laughs> and and then the, the, the first officer, right seat guy, he's a little younger, a little younger, but fucking fa- like yeah. like the car, like the cops in Adam 12. That's what I want. <laughs> That's, I want Reed and Malloy yes. to be my pilots. <laughs> Every cop car in 1961. Right. That's what you right. want your the plane to be. Fucking the the grizzled, experienced older guy and the full of piss and vinegar, ready to learn everything, younger dude, and and they're gonna get you where you need to go and be able to figure shit out. Yeah, yeah. That's and now that for some reason is not good. That's bad now. Okay, let's see it in the NBA. Oh, Why is the stop. NBA so stubborn oh, stop. about short, fat Asians? Oh, really? Do we have to explain it again? Yes. All right. Well, well, they'd say, well, well if they were qualified, th- they would be in the NBA. Oh. Okay. So the people that you're getting on the airlines are qualified. The woman who got sucked into the engine is qualified. Qualified. Okay. The five accidents we've had since December. Oh, Jesus. Are qualified. I got fly plane, Friday. Or how about the plane in Hawaii? You hear about oh, this Jesus. one? It was we just heard about it yesterday, Nose but dived. December third, nose dived. No correspondence with the the air traffic control with the tower. Or yeah, yeah, zero. Just, what did anyone notice? It went up. It went down to seven hundred and seventy five feet. Oh my God! You could over probably the ocean. live <clears throat> if you jumped seven hundred. They said that's uh, uh, it, it, it's. Oh wait, the space needle. The space needle's taller than that. So what the is plane the highest literally dive? went down to a level of the space. Imagine a fucking passenger. What is the highest dive into water? <laughs> Hundred and seventy-two feet. Okay. Oh, okay. right. That yeah, I would think seven hundred and seventy-five. But for a jet plummeting, that's pretty and when they pulled out, they pulled like over two G's, which in a plane, Everyone's you're never pulling like, more than one point something lower than you never, but even in heavy turbulence. Right. And that they must have been pushed down in their seats and then uh, they pulled out of it. But what happened? Can I? Why didn't I hear I about that in the news or anything? Why didn't I hear about it in the news? Why, huh? well, uh, now, I, all I can imagine is there's a reason we didn't hear about it in the news. And it's the same reason, um, I think, as to why a FedEx plane almost landed on top of a fucking uh, Spirit, was it? Or, yeah, that uh, sounds right. The, uh, the FedEx plane? cargo plane. Yeah, because I heard the, the audio of the tower and the planes. Oh, really? And that fucking tower guy, yeah, uh, would like to apologize for... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I could pick it up. I got that voice radar. Like fucking eating pussy radar. Said, I love to tell you instead of I love to tell you. It was like, you know, uh, thanks for your professionalism. I apologize. And I'm like, motherfucker. 
this guy almost had a plane land on top of another fucking plane. So I've been talking about this for so long that I get letters uh, to the, yes. the show. You send them. And to I me. got one letter. I, I sent you one, but I, I don't know if I sent you the first one. It was from the air traffic controller who goes, yeah, it was all old, white, fat, white dudes. Yep. And uh, we ran this show forever. Yes, guys. And now it's, it's, uh, it's diverse. Yep. And he goes, we all make fun of the new guys. Uh -huh. The new guys are totally fucking incompetent, and we're all retiring now. We're all leaving, uh -huh. and we're looking behind us as we walk out going, this does not bode well. So no. That was one no. letter I got. And then another guy goes, no one's bringing this up, and I'd never thought of this, but he goes, weed. Yes, this it was. You sent me this. I read this uh, email that you had gotten, and I was like, yeah, this makes perfect sense, too. You're, you're now getting people that aren't qualified and making them even less qualified <laughs> by pretty much allowing people now, or at least the people that are doing these jobs, believe that because uh, weed has been either decriminalized or made completely legal now, uh, they'll smoke it anytime, anywhere. Are you not allowed to smoke weed if you work at JFK? Is that a given? Is, is, I would is assume, that written down anywhere? I would assume. I would like, would the, I would like that rule. As if you're drinking. If you're in the, in the bathroom and you're fucking g guzzling down vodka and you're in charge of something on the ground and the way anywhere, anywhere, concessions. But if you're drunk driving, you're in big shit. Yeah. If you're stoned driving, you're not, yeah, you're I don't not think in you're big in shit. Yeah, I don't think you're as big as shit. Right. And so, is there a test for how much THC is in your blood? I'm sure there is, but go get a blood what's test. The, what's the, yeah, yeah. What's the that, scale? Maybe that woman, because that woman who got sucked in the engine had been warned, warned many times. Uh -huh. So maybe she was warned, and then she was so high she just forgot. Did they take a um, an eyedropper and test the the liquid left of her outside the engine for <laughs> weed? Can you test? Did they take a, up a teaspoon <laughs> up to the rim of the engine, right? And then just put that in a plastic bag. Can you and test take that to the lab? Can you test Jello for weed consumption? <laughs> can you actually? Test Jello. I hope her kids aren't watching this particular. Oh yes, right so now. bad. So, or her husband. Sorry, Shaquan. Sorry, Durante. Nah. Nah. But and also weed. When I used to smoke it a lot, you could smoke four joints and get a buzz. Yeah. Now it is green LSD. Oh, it's crazy. So they are they're going around this parking lot of fucking dangerous metal dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. they're on acid. Yeah.